This 2020, 21, Von D. Globe Round the World Race Report is brought to you by Pantaneous Professional Race Cover, your tailor-made racing yacht insurance. Here is the latest announcement on the search for Kevin Escoffier of PRB. It has been drawn up jointly by the Vendee Globe and Team PRB. It reads, Race direction of the Vendee Globe have requested the assistance of three competing skippers, Germany's Boris Hermann, Sea Explorer Yacht Club de Monaco, Yannick Bistaven, Mater Koch 4, and Sebastian Simon, Arkea Paprik, to help Jean Le Cam, Yes We Cam, in the mission to retrieve solo skipper Kevin Escoffier, from his life raft after the 40-year-old from St. Malo, had to abandon his Amoka 60, PRB, this afternoon, after activating his distress beacon. Escoffier was racing in third place in the solo non-stop around the world race, at some 840 nautical miles southwest of Cape Town, when his PRB got into difficulties and he was forced to take to his life raft. He alerted his technical team at 1346 hours UTC this afternoon, telling them he had significant amounts of water coming into the boat and triggered his distress beacon. PRB was positioned at 40 degrees 55 south, 9 degrees 16 east at the time the distress beacon was activated. Race direction of the Vendee Globe alerted MRCC Cape Town, and Cross Grisnez, who have been collaborating in a rescue operation. The skipper closest to Escoffier's position, Jean Le Cam, who is competing on his fifth Vendee Globe, immediately responded to the request to divert to Escoffier's position. Guided by race direction, Le Cam arrived on zone around 16-15 hours UTC and quickly established visual and voice contact with Escoffier who was in his life raft but he was unable to retrieve him in the big 5-meter seas and 20-25 knot winds. The positioning of Kevin Escoffier's personal AIS man overboard beacon which emits high-frequency radio waves, and will only be detected in the local zone. As he was maneuvering to prepare to get closer to the life raft, Le Cam lost sight of the life raft and could not establish radio contact nor to pick up the signal from the AIS, the range of which was reduced by the heavy seas. He lost sight of Escoffier in the dying light, but has continued to try and locate him. Le Cam is communicating regularly with race direction and the rescue authorities. The three other skippers are now in, or are approaching the search area. The four skippers will follow a protocol established by race direction, in coordination with Jean Le Cam. They will approach with three reefs in the mainsail and the engine idling. A grid search area for the zone has been established, and will be carried out by the four Amokas who are set to provide assistance. The PRB shore crew said that besides his AIS man overboard, Kevin Escoffier also has means to signal his presence in the life raft. Daybreak tomorrow morning is around 0340 hours UTC in this zone, and the search will be ongoing. That ends the press release. The Von D Globe is the hardest sporting event in the world. It requires the entrant to sail solo, unassisted, around the world. It pits the entrant against the forces of nature. Firstly against themselves, then the seas and the weather. The seas are littered with dramatic rescues, Bullimore, Autissier, Elise, Le Cam. Yes, the same Jean Le Cam whose yacht lost its keel and capsized near Cape Horn. Trapping him below for 18 hours. Jean Le Cam was helped to escape by Vincent Ryu on PRB who had diverted to help him after hearing his distress call. Le Cam's 60-foot boat VM Materio capsized after losing its keel, 200 miles west off Cape Horn. A rescue operation by the Chilean Navy and Emergency Services, which had dispatched a tug with divers and a helicopter, had been launched but would not have arrived before morning. A tanker had also been standing by to assist. Ryu, on board his yacht PRB, was able to get alongside the wreck and could hear his friend's shouts, though in heavy seas and with winds at 25 knots, it took over three hours for Le Cam to climb out of his vessel's emergency hatch, which was submerged and get aboard the other boat, which itself sustained damage in the rescue. Now off the coast of South Africa this new dramatic reverse rescue is in full action. We wish them all the best and success. We can't stress highly enough that this is a very dangerous rescue. For more reports keep watching The World on Water or the official Vondi Globe website. Breaking news, Kevin Escoffier rescued by fellow competitor Jean Le Cam. At 1.18 a.m., UTC, the PRB team was informed that their Vendee Globe race skipper Kevin Escoffier, PRB, 
has been rescued by fellow Vendée Globe competitor, Jean Lecam, Yes We Cam. Escoffier had to abandon his Amoca 60, PRB, following damage yesterday afternoon around 1346 hours UTC, and took to his life raft, some 840 nautical miles southwest of Cape Town. The rescue mission was coordinated from La Sable de Lune, by Von D. Globe Race Direction in collaboration with Cross Grisnes and MRCC South Africa. The president of PRB, Jean-Jacques Laurent was at the race headquarters with race director Jacques Carras and the race direction team assisting through the entire process. He's on board with Jean. These short words came as a huge relief for the whole team, for Escoffier's family and all those involved in and following the Vendée Globe. Kevin has so far only been seen aboard Yes We Cam via live video as Jean Lecam had his video system connected during all the search operations. No one has yet been able to talk with the PRB skipper who just appeared smiling, bundled up in his survival suit alongside Jean Lecam. Von D. Globe race director Jacques Carras outlined, We sent Jean back to a position received by the Cross Green Ez, the position sent by the onboard EPIRB distress beacon. Meteo France's drift simulation also delivered a trace. Jean set off at 00h15 UT, 1h15 French time, on our request to reach this point at reduced speed. He found no one at the given location. He then resumed its journey southeast for three quarters for between 45 minutes and an hour, an hour. As he was making headway at 1.5 knots into a 20 to 25 knot wind, under very reduced sail, three reefs in the mainsail and no engine, he disappeared from the screen when suddenly we heard him talk. We no longer saw anyone. Then, a few minutes after 106 UT or 206 French time, time at which he had precisely to retrieve Kevin on board, Jean went back down to the chart table and then we saw Kevin arrive behind his back in a survival suit. They both appeared fit seconds before the video cut. He is fine. Everyone is well. They are recovering. On January 6, 2009, during the 2008-2009 Vendée Globe, Vincent Ryu, the then the skipper of PRB, rescued Jean Le Cam from his upturned Amoca 60 which capsized at Cape Horn. This time 61-year-old 5 times Vendée Globe racer Le Cam has reversed the roles delivering Escoffier, the 40-year-old skipper from St. Malo, from a potentially lethal situation. The whole team PRB and the Vendée Globe community sincerely thanks Jean Le Cam and the three other skippers, Boris Herman, Yannick B. Staven and Sebastien Simon who have worked heroically and tirelessly to find Kevin, as well as the race director, the Cross Greenez, and the MRCC Cape Town which coordinated the searching. Well that is fantastic news and good wishes to everybody involved. This 2020, 21, Von D. Globe Round the World Race Report was brought to you by Pantaneous Professional Race Cover, your tailor-made racing yacht insurance.